Hi guys, welcome back to the gear show. So we're in Frasassi and I thought it was a good opportunity to show you what's in my climbing travel trip bag. Okay, so first things first, the backpack is the DMM Short Haul 30. So 30 liters filled with all climbing goodies. And uh, yeah, I got two backpacks because obviously in a 30 liter, you're not gonna fit in an 80 meter rope. And I like an 80 meter rope because I like long routes. Um, so I have that in a rope bag, which is pretty handy because if you're going climbing with a friend, which you should be, um, they can carry the rope bag and you just carry your own rucksack. It has a couple of interesting features. First of all, the extremely well padded back and back sh and strap shoulders. Uh, they're super comfortable to walk around with it. Um, so, you know, if you're a fan of long approaches, this is not gonna be uncomfortable on your back. And then big pouch for your water bottle, even though mine actually does fit inside. And then nice um, hauling bag luggage handle um, and a handle also at top. So again, just one of those backpacks that I feel it's gonna be durable enough to throw around everywhere, which happens. You can see how this bag, it just has its own compartments. I feel everything is kind of neatly in there. Um, but yeah, these are the things that I brought for this weekend. Um, we're doing multiple activities, so that's why I have my uh, bouldering bucket that's out. And then for shoes, I decided to bring the new low volume unparalleled flagships and uh, actually never worn them yet, but a review will be coming soon. And then skincare kit, which also doubles up as makeup bag, but I do have in there a nail clipper and um, sand filer, hand filer thing, uh, which does come in pretty handy for you and your friends. So, you know, be helpful. And then I got Epic TV shirt, Epic TV water bottle, and again, everything fits in there. So actually 30 liters, it's quite spacious. Tuck tuck. Oh yeah, shirt in case the approaches are too long and then, you know, you're too sweaty. And then more Epic TV branded liquid chalk. Again, I never tried this yet, uh, but this is the occasion to do so. And then little warm up bandage thing. Next compartment, I actually really like the mesh pocket because uh, unfortunately I am one of those people that forgets about everything that's forgettable. We got a set of quick draws that are all hanging on this loop up here. I also have a belay device, an extra carabiner and a random quick draw hanging around. So that's 10, uh, 10 12 quick draws. And then I've got my Petzl Borea helmet, because, you know, why not wear a helmet? And then my Wild Country Mosquito Sport Climbing Harness. I've been wearing this for like the past six months and I really like it. Like, I really, really like it. And then I have an extra carabiner, because, you know, you never know when you get to the top of a route. Um, and then my chalk bag from Arterix. And in here, I have all my valuables and the tag of the bag. Uh, but yeah, snacks, hard drives, power bank, uh, everything. I got everything in here, wallet and phone and lead. Uh, so yeah, it's quite a spacious pocket. Um, I'm not sure if you can fit in a guidebook, but most days you just have pictures on your phone, right? And you don't need to carry around a guidebook. Anyway, that's almost it for the bag. Just one more pocket, uh, which is a really comfortable and big computer sleeve, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I don't bring my computer to the crag, so that's why it's not in there. Uh, but yeah, big pocket here. All right, so that's it. Bag empty, besides quick draws. Yeah, so this is more or less everything I bring on a climbing trip. I did forget the clip stick. 
but then I figured I'm with stronger climbers, so you know, they can clip the first clip. Um, yeah, let me know what you bring on your climbing trip and um, your bag solution and all of that. There are links down below for everything I talked about today and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.